And do you know the Aristophany experiment? You know where he puts two sticks in the ground and apparently measures... Yes, ma'am. You actually need three sticks to make it work, but yes, ma'am. Um, did he do them on longitude lines or latitude lines? In other words, was he going north to south or east to west? The two sticks. Um, I think it was latitude. Not exactly sure on that. Okay. In the Eratosphene experiment, the one where they put two sticks in the ground, um, was that done on a latitude line or a longitude line? So in other words, were the two sticks north to south or were they east to west? Yeah, that was just a make-up story. I didn't have one yeah, at all. Funny story. Okay. Yeah, you have to think about a very, very long distance to Alexandria. And also, what the question is, is about the shadow, about the sticks he was, he was tugging, he was sticking down to the ground. Well, it's just but that if they were in the same, if they were going north to south, they're in the same time zone. But if they're going east to west, they're in different time zones. So, I was just wondering, did you think they were in the same time zone when they did it, or a different time zone? Two different time it zones. Doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. If the sun is going in a circle around, it can be uh, the shadow will be in all directions, so it doesn't matter. What I am saying is how the shadow will behave. It is because of uh, how close the sun is, or how far the sun is. In the uh, uh, Eratosphene experiment, where they put the two sticks in the ground, were the two sticks on a latitude line or a longitude line? In other words, were they in the ta same time zone going vertically up the earth, or were latitude. they going to... Latitude. Latitude. Okay. And is about the Aristophany experiment, you know, where he stuck two sticks in the ground and apparently measured whatever. Were those two sticks on a latitude line or a longitude line? In other words, were they going north to south Me or east to west? Neither. Neither? But he had two sticks. Neither. No, neither. Because you don't know which one is which. You don't know if it's north, west, or east. You could just say it. But that doesn't mean that's what it is. That's just what we've been told and that's what we've learned. But we don't know if that's true or not. Okay, so next question. The Aris do you know the Aristosphene um, experiment? Aris Aristosphene? Yeah, where he sticks the two sticks in the ground. So did he put the two sticks in the ground on, on a latitude line or a longitude line? In other words, was it going east to west or north to south? Right, and the uh, longitude is the east to west, correct? Yes. I would say the longest lines. Uh, do you know the Aristosphene experiment? You know, we put two sticks in the ground. Oh, you mean one stick in the ground and another stick in or and uh, he looked down a well or a on well. the other part. Yes, yeah, that one. So did he do that on a latitude lines or longitude? In other words, was he going north-south or east-west, the, the sticks? The... I believe he was going north-south. Okay. And you know the Aristophany experiment? You know where he stuck two sticks in the ground? Did he do that on a longitude line or a latitude line, like horizontally or vertically across the earth? I yeah. That one was a north and south thing, I think. Like a that's that'd be longitude, right? I yep. think. I think so. Yeah. yeah, wasn't one in Alexandria, the other one was on like seawater or something. In the Aristophany <laughs> experiment, you know the one where he sticks two sticks in the ground, um, was that on the a latitude or or the longitude line? So in other words, was it going north to south or east to west? Directions. Um, I don't actually believe Aristotle knew what he was doing. I just think that they had an experiment, they believed it, and they found some documents about it, and they tried to use it as evidence for something. I believe it's junk, junk science. You know the Aristosphene experiment, um, where he stuck it's two st stuck two sticks in the ground. 
Sure. And did he do that on a lang latitude or longitude? Was he going around the Earth or up and down? Um, I get these confused all the time. I don't know which one. I would, I would probably, <laughs> every time I look these up, I have to go look to see which one is which, because I always fuck up. <laughs> so do you reckon he, he went across around the earth or, or north to south? Like did He, he go... went up and down. It was, it was, nor it was north the north and south uh, line, yep. whichever one that is. Okay. And do you know the Aristosphony um, experiment, the one where he put two sticks in the ground to measure? Yeah. The... Yep. Um, did he put the sticks in the ground on a latitude lines or or a longitude? In other words, were they going north to south or east to west? Hmm, I'm not sure. I think if I had to guess, it'd be north to south. Okay. You know the Aristophany experiment. Um, yeah. Did he do oh. that? Did he do that on the latitude line or the longitude line? Was he going north to south or east to west? I can't answer that question at all because one, I don't believe that the man lived anyway. Uh, the knowledge that I have of it didn't come, didn't mention that. <clears throat> and um, basically, all that action happened on a flat earth because he assumed distance to sun. Also, how would he know what was happening in two places that are five hundred miles apart, uh, ladies and gentlemen? And his obelisk. You know, we, we can prove that the earth is not doing that. We can't prove. The Earth is a globe now. With today's modern technology, ladies and gentlemen, we can't prove what Aristophanes supposedly did or Arachnathenes. So um, I don't know which part or where he actually. I would say on the, uh, but I'll make a guess that he did it on the uh, horizontal. So is that the yeah latitude? Is what I would say as a guess. 